Hey guys, welcome back. This is a tutorial from the core on Cinema 4D. And this was a request actually, and the person that requested this wanted to know how to export an alpha out from Cinema 4D into a program like Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're gonna get right onto that. All right, so as you can see, I have my scene set up here. If I just hit the little play button, Little sphere breaks to little clumps, nothing special. Uh, one thing I do want to go over before we get into the render settings is that whatever you don't want to be in the final exporting, you want to tag it, and which I already done here, but you can always just right click it, go to Cinema 4D tags, and then just click compositing. Then after you do that, this little menu will come up right here, and typically, scene by camera is going to be checked, but you just want to go ahead and uncheck that. And do the same thing for your background as well, if you're using that as a reference. So if I was to hit render, all we get is my object right there. Alright, now it's time to render this thing out. Go into render settings, general, uh, I just typically go on full render. I really don't do alphas on V-Ray because it's just a headache trying to get it, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just a headache trying to get it to render out as an alpha that way. So I just leave it on full render. Output, these are the settings that I chose. Uh, 72 DPI because it's going to be on screen. Now, if you're printing, it would be on 300, but you can't have an animated object on a piece of paper. So we're leaving that at 72. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna just going to leave it at 45 frames, which the default is 90, but we really don't need all those frames for something as simple as this. All right, as for save, you're gonna wanna save it out as wherever you want to. For me, I just call it break five, why not? It's simple, it's easy. Then as for your format, you're gonna want a quick time movie, which you can just click on the little drop arrow right there. Quick time movie is right down there. Then as for here, Typically this is unchecked, but all you have to do is just check alpha channel. And that pretty much does it for that. You don't have to mess with any of these right here. Multipass, that's if you want to do it. Anti-aligning, depending on how you want it to look when it comes out. But since this is a tutorial, we're just going to leave it on geometry. Effects, that's if you want to add effects to it but we're not going to cover that in this tutorial today. Alright, so we got that done. That's all saved out. Let's render. As you can see, I already rendered this out, but I'm going to show you, you know, just for the tutorial, that things will work out that way. Yes. Ah, uh, rendering takes forever, but this is what we do because we're 3D animators. And we just absolutely love the world of rendering. High five. Who's with me? No one? Didn't think so. Gradually getting there.
All right, rendering is done. Just minimize that, and we'll minimize that. Oh my god, my desktop is cluttered. Well, what else is new? All right, so this is where, well, this is the file that we exported out. Break5.mov, just gonna drag it, and bring it right on in here. Now, I already brought it in here just to test things out before I started the film, but, just so that way y'all can see what I'm doing here. Yeah. Alright, so we drag in our file that we just that we just rendered. I'm gonna hit play. And bam! There is our object right in our scene where we wanted to place it. So that's a pretty simple tutorial on how to export an alpha map from Cinema 4D into Premiere Pro. All right, and that takes care of the tutorial. See you next time, guys.